you from my heart. Look, I don't know if I'm gonna have a career after this. Fuck. That blood. innocent people who were halfway through their process we don't know what George Floyd could have achieved we don't know what Sandra Blank could have achieved but today so thank you Boyega thank you John Boyega I hear you very clearly when you express concerns that by standing up by standing up to speak against racism at the London rally last week your career might come to an end. It's a valid concern. I hear you, Monique, the African-American, African-American comedian, the woman who took on Netflix because she felt African-American women were paid less. I hear you how blacks turned against you. They were trying to tell you, oh, don't speak up. You have to shut down and earn your money. I hear you. I hear you. And they are white who've stood up too. That, you know, Justin Timberlake is right now being penalized for putting up a fund to fund protesters who've been detained, to, to provide bail for them. White have attacked him. Yes, in ent the entertainment industry, in international organizations, there are blacks and whites who are being penalized for standing up against racism, standing up against discrimination and these are the power forces of change in the world not the moderates but I'm calling on close got my eyes on you right now I got my two fingers on my eye on you I'm looking at those blacks especially Africans who are heading international organizations who are easily promoted who sit there and very quick quick to endorse what they know does not work or stay silent many of them are silent around these issues we're, de we're dealing with right now against black rights or black ability to speak up against racism. They are very quiet because they've benefited from maintaining and strengthening the status quo. These are color correctors. Color correctors are not doing the world any good in the area of anti-racism. Yes, they help my makeup look flawless. When I step out, I look fine. But the color correctors that are used, those blacks that are used in institutions to, to robber stamp racism are the reasons why racism goes on the ground and is teeming, it goes on, then explodes like we have right now. We need to get the color correctors to listen, yes. How can white colleagues support blacks? Yes, I like that conversation, but we need to look at calling attention to the black color correctors. How? By their silence, submissiveness, self-interest, career aspiration, self-centeredness, you know, going for the money. How that drive continues to propel racism in workplaces and around the world. Thank you. Now, John Boyega is, an, is a Nigerian British actor. He's black, but there are whites as well who've, whose careers are on the line for standing up against anti-black racism. Aston Kuchner has spoken up and has been one of the strongest defenders of why black lives matter. Then we have, then we have Justin Timberlake, who has spoken up, who basically is funding Justin Timberlake is feeling the backlash over some tweets he made during the BET Awards on Sunday. At the awards show, Grey's Anatomy star Jesse Williams gave a powerful speech. These two are white men and amazingly have stood up and are fighting anti-black racism. And they are doing it at risk for their careers. Why would we really, why in this day and age, what does this say about a world that people would actually find that their careers would be on the line because they are standing up for justice, they're standing up for equality, they're standing up for, for the human race. I'm basically saying no human being deserves to be killed because of the color of their skin. 